Venezuela is suffering from a shortage of wheat flour, which has seen bread rationing in the socialist country. Long queues can be seen outside bakeries even before they open their doors to customers. The shortage, which is estimated at one million sacks of flour, is the outcome of a labour dispute at Molinas Nacionales, the country's largest flour producing company. Now, with a limit of two units of bread per customer, Venezuelans are worried by the latest addition to the list of their basic product shortages. It's a big problem. Not being able to feed one's family due to the shortages is a bad state of affairs, not to mention the effect it has on business. We can only hope 2014 proves a better year. The flour shortage in the country is the latest to add to a growing list of scarce basic products, such as cooking oil, sugar and paper. Local bakeries, family-run businesses which are an integral part of Venezuelan culture, are struggling to provide for their customers, with many business owners concerned about the future. There's little we can do as bread outlets. When we can get hold of floor, we try to provide for everyone. Profits have certainly dropped, but shortages come and go in Venezuela. We simply have to prepare for difficult times. President Nicolas Maduro has vowed to tackle his country's economic issues in the coming year with a series of economic measures to be announced later this week. The situation has worsened during December and January and is now serious, but the government says it has sufficient funds to meet the economy's needs. Only time will tell if this can put a dent in such shortages. Alistair Bavistock, Press TV, Caracas.